Hey guys, bringing you a key replacement video today. I'm working on a Lenovo ThinkPad and I'm going to show you how to replace one of these smaller normal size letter keys. I'm going to show you how to take it off safely without breaking it and then how to install it safely without breaking it. Uh, the reason why we're doing this, in case you didn't know, is because a French inset keyboard cannot easily be replaced. Um, in order to take it out, you'd have to basically break it off of your palm rest in which case the new one would not be as secure when you install it. So uh, for that reason, as keys are lost or broken, I prefer to replace individual keys versus the entire keyboard. It just maintains the integrity of, of, of your palm rest a little longer. If you cannot find loose keys for sale online, uh, which is common uh, for your model, consider buying a used keyboard and then uh, doing what I'm gonna show you here, taking keys off of there uh, to use for parts on, on yours as they break or they're lost. If you're looking for how to do a larger size key, space, uh, shift, enter, um, check out the video link below in the description. That'll show you how to do one of the larger keys. Uh, the only tool you'll really need in this is a small flathead screwdriver. Um, smaller the better, large normal household ones will not work. They'll break your key. So try to get a nice small one. Uh, but I'll show you how to do one of the smaller keys now. Now to begin with, I'm gonna use my small flathead screwdriver and I'm going to put it underneath the keycap, but on top of the retainer clip underneath uh, that you can't see. And the idea there is to hold down that clip while I peel off the cap so that the clip doesn't bend and break. So let me just do this real quick and then I'll show you what we're looking at when we get in there. There we go. So that was fairly easy to get that off. As you can see, my uh, screwdriver was holding down uh, this re retainer clip. Now most of these retainer clips are laid out in the same way. Um, there'll be small variations across brands and models, but generally they'll all look like this. There'll be a rubber spring in the center that's held on by glue, so be very careful not to rip that up. Uh, the retainer clip itself will usually be made up of, of two parts, the inner clip and the outer clip, and they'll fit together by little plastic pins in the center. So if this comes undone, as long as those two pins aren't, aren't broken, uh, it, it can be fit back together. Um, and then you have four, usually four metal pins near all four corners. Uh, with some models, you'll have one side that has one metal bracket in the, um, in the middle. Uh, but most will look like this. Now the way to get this off is I'm going to go for the pins nearest the edges. So in this case, it's these two up top. And I'm going to take my fingernail and I'm going to press up on that clip and try to pry out the edges from under those metal pins. Uh, so it's gonna be hard to see, but I'm gonna do it, and then I'm gonna show you what I was trying not to break. So I'll push up. Okay. So as you can see on this pin, there's two little holes on this corner and that corner. So one on each corner. That, that plastic that's holding that together is very thin, very breakable. That's what I was trying not to break as I pried this out from under the metal. If you just put it in there and try to pop it up, you'll just blow those things right out and then this won't be able to um, stay in there securely anymore. So that's what we're trying not, not to break. So to get this back in, we're gonna go in, in reverse. Instead of putting the top in first, as we took the top out first, we're gonna put the bottom in first. So we're gonna lay that in there, nice and flat, and we're gonna get the bottom part underneath their metal pins first. And then once this looks secure, and, and once it looks all centered, you should just be able to press in the top two corners and snap them in, just like that. And then you bring your cap over, and you put that on top, and same thing. Once you get it centered, you, you press. Now that may take you a little longer, because I've been doing this a little longer, so I have a, a better feel for it. But if it doesn't snap in just right the first time, then take your screwdriver, put it back in there, peel it off again safely, make sure everything's lined up, and, and snap that back in place. So that's how you would replace a key on a Lenovo ThinkPad. Um, please leave any comments or questions you have below. I'll get back to you a few times a day. If you do have a question, check out the frequently asked questions below in the description first. That may save you some time. Uh, like and share if this helped out. And uh, subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work. Thanks so much for watching, guys.